Hi and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to revisit the polishing of prints made with the Filamentives 80% copper filled PLA. Uh, I have printed this already which is just another disc with the recycled logo on it. Uh, I don't suppose you wanted to see that because we saw how well it printed in the last video. Although I did raise up the, the height of the, um, the nozzle for the first layer and the first layer came out much much better than the last time. But um, yeah, I got some comments from Filamenta from the last video asking why I hadn't followed the instructions for polishing this stuff. Um, so they sent me the instructions for polishing it and I, I can't show you it because it's a PDF file. So I'll just read them out quickly and this is, this is, this is what you're supposed to do. So you're supposed to print your part 90% filled with, at uh, 0 0.15 layer height. Now uh, I've printed this 20% filled at uh, 0.2 mil layers so okay sorry um it also says uh, step two you should um give it a good brush with a soft brush uh, i don't have a soft brush i'm going to be using um a brass wire brush that i use to clean the nozzles of the printer it says step three you should sand it with 600 grit sandpaper and water now i have got some 600 grit sandpaper and water obviously so i will be doing that and then it says step four you can use a, a high speed rotary tool together with metal polish. Um, I, I don't have any metal polish and as we saw in the last video the high speed rotary tool just melted the print so I'm not going to do that. What I am going to do is I'm going to take this print I'm going to use the wire brush that I've got I'm going to use the wet and dry 600 grit that I've got and we're going to see what kind of result we can get just with that on this part so um, I'll just hold it up so you can see it's got some quite small details on it and it's got some quite intricate areas on the back's just flat so it'll be interesting to see what we get so we'll switch to the workbench and we'll get started so here we are at the workbench and as you can see we've got some 600 grit and we've got a brass wire brush so I'm just going to get started and we'll probably end up fast forwarding all this. So let's see what we can do. So, all in all, that took about 20 minutes. I spent about 5 or 6 minutes with the uh, the 600 grit wet and dry, and then the rest of the time was obviously with the wire brush. And occasionally I used some kitchen paper just to brush away the uh, the residue. I mean, you may have noticed in the video, there was a little pile of, of dust and stuff. I kept moving out the way because I didn't want it going everywhere. And it is definitely imperative that you wear these gloves, because this stuff gets everywhere. It's horrible. I don't know, you want to see the finished thing now, so there you go. That's what it looks like now. I'll try and get as many different angles of it as you can so you can just see how polished this thing has become because it really is nice. I'll show you the back. The back's not as nice because the layer height of the first layer was a bit higher than usual, so it's a little bit stringy. 
and uh, the edge can you see the edge i keep looking in the viewfinder i'm sorry but uh, that should be it but there there you go that is much much better than last time it um it certainly certainly does polish up really nicely if i had a rock tumbler which i am building by the way um and i had 30 hours to put it in there then it would probably come out much better so we'll maybe do a re revisit of this again in the future maybe um i don't know if you've noticed but uh, i'll see if i can get really close in here some of the top layer started to split now what i would recommend if you're going to use this stuff change the number of top layers you've got and the number of bottom layers to about five or six because three doesn't seem enough the uh, the wet and dry does take quite a bit of the material away and if it's a part that you need to be dimensionally stable you know you're going to have to overcompensate in the measurements in the in the the dimensions for actually sanding stuff down but uh, yeah i am very very pleased with that it has come out really nicely just with wet and dry and a wire brush so there you go so i don't know what you would make out of copper filled material maybe you can leave some comments down below in the comments obviously in the comments uh, about what you would make but um you can polish it and you can just use normal hand tools you know i've just uh, just showed it you've got to put some time in and you know it works with a bit of a sweat but it can be done so let us know what you would print. And as usual, please like, comment, subscribe. I've been Steve. Thanks for listening.